First of all guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this next calling card video with me Spartan G Gamer, and hopefully I can help you and give you some tips and advice on how you can easily open up this Killjoy's Master Calling Card. But the one that I did find the hardest of all out of all the calling cards in this Killjoy Master section was the Short Circuit Calling Card. So I'm going to go into detail about this in a moment, but when you do open both these cards up you'll get 1000 XP for the actual Short Circuit Calling Card, but you'll get 10,000 XP for completing the 100% Killjoy joys master calling card as well so to find this guys if you are struggling with this and most of these challenges are fairly easy but they are in the specialist um challenges there and the specialist kill joys and the first one we're going to go through is Crimea River. Really easy this one, guys, but you need to kill an enemy before they get a single kill from their, their specialist equipped weapon 50 times. So remember, when an enemy does um, equip their weapon, get the kill with them before they use it 50 times, and that's one towards that 50 you need. So really easy, that one, guys. The next one on the list is back at you. Earn 10 counterintelligent medals. Kill an enemy who has pulsed you with the vision pulse. So Outrider is the specialist character that has the vision pulse ability and when she does um, get that vision pulse on you hopefully you can turn around and kill her uh, before she kills you and that's one towards the only 10 that you need so not too many there but that's quite easy the next one is brick house you need to earn 10 brick wall medals kill an enemy who is using overdrive ruin the specialist character ruin is the one who uses overdrive so when you're seeing ruin running around at 100 miles an hour get one of those 10 kills on him before he kills you and that's one towards that 10 wet blanket fairly hard challenge this one but i'm going to leave a link um, now guys so you can watch my video on this um, wet blanket challenge because i did open this up on a separate occasion we need to earn 10 ice medals kill an enemy after they stunned you with a heat wave so firebreak is the one who uses the ability heat wave and when he stuns you you need to get the kill before he kills you but i'll leave a link guys and that will hopefully help you with that the next one is back to the grave which is earn 10 exorcism medals kill an enemy after they rejack now nomad is the one who uses the rejack ability when he when you do kill him for the first time he'll go in a cloud of smoke and then he'll use his rejack ability you need to kill him before he then gets up and kill you so that's one towards your 10 if you do get that's fairly easy guys the next one is the repeat offender Earn 10 robbed medals, kill an enemy who is using the combat focus. Now we're going to show you a short video where we do get one of these combat focus kills and the specialist character who uses this is Seraph. Okay, so again, that's not too bad. Um, it's fairly easy, guys, but I'll show you a video on that later. And then the next one we've got is fixed, earn 10 quartz medals, which is kill an enemy shortly after they glitch. Now the specialist character who uses glitch ability is profit. So again, look into matches where they got these specialist characters um, equipped with these um, abilities. And then you'll know that you can get one of your 10 towards that court medals. Um, the next one is done and done. Earn 100 year done medals, kill an enemy who has a specialist weapon equipped. So again, that's really easy. All you need to do, guys, is go around, check out your enemy who's got their specialist weapons equipped and go and kill them 100 times. Nothing really hard about that. The next one is What's Up. Earn 10 busted medals, kill an enemy who is using active camo. Now, the specialist character who uses the active camo ability is Spectre. So look again into your games with characters and enemy who are using that, and then that's one towards your 10 you need. Unintimidated next, earn 10 shattered medals, kill an enemy who is using connect armor, and the specialist character who uses that ability is Battery. So look again into your games, look for the characters, and then you can know it's one towards your 10 when you're looking after that calling car. The next one is Psyched Out. Earn 10 10 get real medals, kill an enemy who's using psychosis. The specialist character who uses that is Reaper. Now, the hardest one of all that I found was the short circuit. I was a little bit misled with this in the first place, which is why I found it quite difficult. But what you need to basically do is interrupt an enemy specialist ability by using an EMP grenade 10 times. So that means basically you need to equip your tacticals with the EMP um, grenade. Um, but you need to remember, this is where I went wrong, but you need to remember that you need to interrupt an enemy's specialist ability, not the weapon, okay? The ability is the one that you're after, not the specialist weapon, because that's where I was going wrong. But we're gonna go into detail about that, a bit more about that when we do play the game itself. But if anything I can help you with that you need to set up in your tacticals is the actual EMP grenade itself. So I would recommend having two of those equipped because it will really help you. And the idea is, 
about half of these specialist abilities, when they do appear, you're not going to know about them, okay? Especially when it comes to Seraph, when she uses a combat focus, there's no way of knowing. But even though, I'm going to show you a video on this later, um, I just recommend that you just chuck those EMPs about whenever you can, and hopefully, like I say, fingers crossed, with a bit of luck, you can actually get some of those those um, interrupted interference kills with your EMP that you're looking towards getting this colon card for. But in your perks, guys, I'd recommend having this set up. If you don't, it's up to you what you have, use whatever you prefer. But this is personally what I prefer. You don't have to go along with what I do, but I find it very easy to get high kills when I'm using this setup. But definitely, definitely use those two EMPs, guys. It will really help you. So in this first video, as you can see there, down the bottom there, we've just chucked our EMP grenade out. And there was a character, the Reaper Specialist character, who is using the Psychosis ability, okay? So you can see him down the end there, guys. We've just chucked our EMP out and then we're going to interfere with his ability. We actually shut it down. So that's one towards our 10. We're going to show it now from the enemy's point of view. So you can see how this works, guys, and what you're after. But this is now from the enemy's point of view. So you can see there, he has his specialist ability ready to equip and ready to use. So it's just waiting now for that time when he thinks it's suitable to use and luckily like I said he did use it as he was coming out of this doorway so that was then one towards our 10 that we needed so you see me down the bottom there now guys we're now chucking that EMP out we've now interfered with his ability then hence given us one towards the 10 that we need so that's what you need to make sure that you're doing guys it's on the specialist ability that when they use it and not the weapon as I said earlier this next one now we're in Nuketown now we're playing a game of kill confirmed now this one here was really weird, okay? It started to mislead me because this actual um, interference th uh, that I got with the EMP was on, the, on an enemy who was using a specialist weapon, not the ability, as it said in the description. So I was very, very shocked when I did check the game back because I didn't get any other, as far as I know, any other EMP um, interference on any other person who was using an ability and at the moment I used this I came straight out of the game to check if it was because I got the internet interference I knew I knew that the electromagnetic interference but it did class as one towards my 10 that I needed so it's really weird it really bugged me out but like I said I, I think it should just be the abilities as it says in the description that you're after to get the EMP interference on so I'd recommend to just stick with the EMP um, on the enemies who are using their abilities and not their weapons but even though I did get one for that like I said it it shouldn't have done just a little glitch in the game like all oh, black ops 3 is nowadays it just seemed to be glitching out left right and center but that was the moment guys we got our last emp interference on one of the enemy using their specialist ability we opened up the calling card and also the master calling card as well now as you see here in the case of the last emp interference we get on the ability so we do get the combat focus which i said i'd mention about earlier now we don't know that this enemy is using the combat focus there's no way of knowing okay but I'm going to show it back now from the enemy point of view. But there's nothing that gives away the signs that they're going to use the combat focus. But it is a little bit of luck, guys. So I do would say, you know, it's luck that I got this. But as you can see here now, this is from the enemy point of view again. You can see that they've got their combat focus ready to use. So it just so happens with a bit of luck as the time they used it. So they've just clicked the LBRB button and then I get that EMP interference on them, shutting them down completely, then giving us one towards that 10 we need. And luckily it was the final 10 that we needed. So it was, it was the final one we needed. So that's how it worked, guys. But recommend to you to, to just keep chucking those EMPs about, which is why I say two of them. Use your scavenger as well so you can keep collecting more EMPs on the way and just keep chucking the EMPs out and then hopefully get those characters using their specialist ability so you can get that 10 that you need so i did find that quite hard guys but remember it is the abilities not the specialist weapons you need to get the emp interference on but there you go guys there's the calling cards I'm just going to show you one last time the actual short circuit calling card itself but I really do hope this video has helped you. Go out and get this one yourself if you haven't got it, guys. But thank you so much for watching and peace out to you.